I'm Greg Smedley with Fay. I'm a project manager, and we are here at the Howard Street Tunnel Project. We started with boots on the ground here in March of 2024 through February of 2025. That was while freight trains were still running 12 hours a day. In February of 2025, we received 24 hour access to the area. We are lowering the tunnel to achieve double stack clearance for trains. So we need to achieve an additional two foot of clearance through a 1.3 mile long tunnel. So to do that, we are using precast concrete structures those are being brought in on rail from the east end and we are excavating and hauling dirt out of the west end of the tunnel. We're working in tight space requirements. We've got excavators, a crane system that had to be custom made on rails that would be able to lift the weight of the precast sections. We are running 24 hours a day, seven days a week on this project. So there are way too many names to name specifically, but we have got superintendents and project engineers and foremen and operators and laborers covering so many different aspects and area of this. We have bus lot that has all of our supplies in it. We've got things coming in on rail. We're installing storm drain systems through rock that's harder than anybody's seen. We have got a uh, West Portal crew that's bringing in all of the stone to go underneath. We've got a uh, yard and equipment and mechanics that are working 24 hours a day to make sure that this project is successful. We're working with our joint venture partner, Skanska. And so this has been a true team effort. We're focusing on safety for this entire project to make sure that everybody stays safe and goes home the same way they came in. And we're excited about how this is giving the opportunity for Baltimore to be a port that can sustain double stacked clearance and what that means for our journey to impactful infrastructure.